So good to see you again, fellow survivors. I don't want to keep you in suspense for too long, so let's get right to the newest additions to Endzone A World Apart. Our researchers plunged into work and created a new iteration of the tech tree. There, technologies are now grouped in different levels of research, which need to be unlocked one after another. How to unlock these research levels, you ask? Fair enough. And that's where the expeditions come into play. During certain expeditions, your explorers may be lucky enough to get their hands on one of the so-called research utensils. You need a specific amount of research utensils to unlock the next level in the technology overview. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Since a steady water supply is the most difficult and crucial thing to set up and maintain, we invented the electric water pump, a great addition to our supply buildings. It only needs to be connected to a functioning power grid in order to work properly. No manpower needed. We also needed something to improve the distribution and availability of water in general. For that purpose, we came up with the idea of the water point. Logisticians will transport water from buildings like cisterns, wells, electrical pumps, and the like to the water point to shorten travel routes for settlers to obtain water. Based on all the new stuff and reworks we implemented this time, we also created new tutorials for you to play through and get familiar with the functionality of water, research, and radiation in Endzone a world apart. Now have fun with the latest update. I hope you'll enjoy it as much as we do. See you soon, survivors.